you guys, if you guys can't tell, you know, we got my alumni cert. So yeah, I graduated. So yeah. Life after college is so good. Nope, just kidding. For me, I've been really sad after graduation. Um, but hey, with that said, hey guys, it's Jack and I'm back with another video. And today, if you guys can not tell from the title of the video, we are here with post graduation. And with that said, cue to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be, and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, it's going to be starting a series, I guess, basically. Well, I'm going to call it Real Talk, and it's just basically going to be me just talking to you guys, me ranting. Basically, this video is going to be me ranting about what's been on my mind recently. And I don't know how often I'm gonna continue these. If you guys like these videos, if you guys receive them well, let me know down below by hitting that like button or in the comments where it's just gonna be me speaking my mind, talking about different things and just stuff that goes through my mind. Or also just anything that's going on around the world at the time or stuff like that. But with that said, you guys also might notice something new. I don't have my glasses on. If you guys haven't checked out my last video right here, which is my top professors at Kennesaw, um, basically in that video, one, the audio was bad, and then two, the reflection from my glasses were very, very bad. So you guys have glasses list Jackie today. Um, so yeah, I'm blind as fuck right now. I can't really see. But with that said, we are here. No reflection. Well, with the further ado, let's get started with today's video. So the reason why I'm making this video is because, I don't know, it's been about two months since I graduated. I graduated in May. It's August. Um, I think what's kind of hitting me hard right now is that a lot of my friends are going back to school. As I was one of the oldest friends in my friend group and I was like the first to graduate and seeing everyone go back to school and like just me not talking to them as much as I used to because I'm not there in Kennesaw no more, it kind of was a eye opener for me. It just made me realize like, damn, I'm never really gonna have to go to school again unless I go back for my master's um, or another degree or whatever. But it's just like, I'm an adult now. Like I have to work for the rest of my life now. And I think what's hitting me hard is that I didn't have anything set up. I didn't have any internships. Yes, I have some connections, but me, I have too much pride and I'm not going to go ask someone for a job or kiss ass for a job or, you know, be fake for a job. I wanna do things the organic way. I wanna do things my way. I wanna let people see my work and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of what bites me in the ass is because I have connections, but it's like, I ain't trying to kiss ass or suck dick for a job. With that said, I wish I took an internship as well or found an internship, because maybe that could have helped me out because maybe after graduation, I could have been focusing on an internship, um, but instead I'm working a nine to five at H&M. Nothing wrong with working a nine to five, you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with working at H&M, but me, it's just not my forever job and I don't want to get trapped in H&M or just in any job in general because you know how it is because once you start working there, you get comfortable, you get comfortable, you move up in the position, you become from a sales associate full-time or full-time to a supervisor, manager position, and then it's just like you get trapped. They just expect you to do things. And the money that they give you, which they expect you to do a lot of things with that low amount of pay, is kind of ridiculous sometimes. I only get 12.48 at the H&M I work at. That might be less, that might be more than some people who work at other H&Ms, but for the amount of work I do, if any other retail store worker understands for what I do, we have to do truck, fold clothes, register, customer service, fitting room, a um, whole bunch of different things. Move clothes around, help the visuals, put stuff, set it, things up, set the mannequins up, set clothes in the right positions where they're supposed to be. It's just a lot and that's not enough for the money that we get paid at least from my mindset. So because of that, because of me working at h and it made me realize like, damn, am I a failure? Um, it made me second think about a lot of things. And I had to sit back and be like, no, I'm not a fucking failure. I'm not at the point where I want to be in my life, but I just graduated college, one. And then two, not everyone's so lucky with what I want to do because my field is very competitive. I want to go into the media, social media field, um, YouTube content creating field. Um, this field is so competitive, so saturated, where it's like I have to better myself 
do things and take the baby steps that I need to do to do what I want to do. Like, I really sat in my room sad as fuck thinking I was a failure because I was working at H&M. But one, I'm only 22. Um, two, I just graduated from Kennesaw State University. You know what I'm saying? One of the best schools in Georgia. Um, I'm just adding that. I don't know if that's facts. Um, but I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? It could because of my ethnicity, you know, coming from an Asian household. Um, it could be because of that because, not going to lie, my parents kind of have been putting a lot of pressure on me um, to make money, provide for the family. Um, I think it's an Asian thing. I don't know. Let me know if y'all can relate to that. Um, you know, I'm trying. It's like they say I got time, but then they don't because they say I have time to do things, but then they go complain to my sister saying that I don't have enough time or I'm taking too long, and then my sister comes back and yell at me. It's just the whole cycle with me and my family. With that said, also moving back home took me back to square one. What it felt like I was just like, what am I doing? I'm back at square one where I was at the beginning of college. And I'm back where I was. The only thing that's different is that I have a degree in memories. Um, so, yeah, definitely if I have any advice, um, this is your journey. So do what you got to do for your journey because not everyone's journey is going to be the same. And then two, um, if this is the route you want to go into, get an internship or stuff like that. Maybe kiss some ass, suck some dick for a position. You know what I'm saying? Not literally, but like figuratively, um, of course. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get the job. Um, it just depends. Um, if you are in the media field, the content creation field of specifically, because I was a media and entertainment major at Kennesaw. When it comes to other fields though, I don't really know what's out there. Um, you know, I know at Kennesaw the biggest um, degree that they have there is nursing. The nursing program is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't really know much about other majors and degrees. But honestly, with that said, Today's video might be a quick video because that's really what I have to get off my chest because, yeah, I thought post-graduation you would be happy, all that fun stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, but no, it's kind of depressing because now you're a real adult, you have to work a 9 to 5 every day. Um, I think what I'm upset about or not happy about fully is that my 9 to 5 is H&M. Um, I don't mind working. It's just that I just don't see a future with that you know what i'm saying nothing wrong with each them if y'all want to come with me and i can go work with y'all in a different department like a up in corporate or whatever where i can just take pictures or help with the fashion or way the mannequins are designed something if you want me to help with the social media aspect part take videos part i don't I would not complain. I just think it's the part where I'm at right now because I've been doing it for so long. I've been with H&M since 2019. Of course, I took a year off, but still, that's four years of my life, you know? So it's like, I've been with this company for so long. I just don't see it as my future unless I go into the route of like making videos for them or something like that. So with that said, I've also applied for a lot of different jobs, a lot of freelance jobs, I guess, um, photography, videography, editing. I applied for over 30 jobs and the first five i applied to were in early mid july i didn't hear back from them and then the next five i applied to were in like i think late june early august still haven't heard back from them and then yesterday i decided to apply for like 20 companies and i got two emails back so hopefully fingers crossed we can move up in the higher paying job and at least the field i want to do because that's really what i want to do is f the pay is only like a dollar or even 15 an hour, but it's in the field that I want to do. I will be more happy doing that because that's what I want to do instead of folding clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to do stuff in my field. I want to content create. If I could just make videos all day, I would. I've been in talks with my boy Ryan and Boomy. If you guys are watching this, shout out to you guys. Um, but we have been in talks. We are trying to make content for you guys. Um, I might be spoiling it, but Boomy is coming back out of retirement you know what i'm saying so we are in the works of creating content for you guys and this is what i want to do for real and if this does not work out at least i could say i fully tried because i'm putting in all my effort all my money all that stuff like i really am trying to do my best and like the thing is like i say i'm gonna try and like saying that as like i'm not gonna succeed but in my mind i know i'm destined for greatness you know what i'm saying i'm meant to do something big i'm put on this stuff to do something big and I just can't let my potential go to waste. So with that said, let me know down below all of your guys' post-graduation stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you had that post-grad depression or if you had 
um, a better experience than me. Um, Cause yeah, the one thing I could definitely say after graduation is that there's a lot more free time. And I don't know if it's because I moved back home or something, but I've been very, very lazy. And that's been on me. Like I've gained weight. I've chose not to do nothing. I just lay in bed and watch YouTube. Um, so that's why I'm trying to get my ass up and do other things and just get this, you know, slowly get into the group of bettering my life. But also, I'm going to say this too, understand that not everyone's experiences are going to be the same. Um, not everyone's going to experience post-grad depression. Some people probably have experienced a lot better things than me, but some also experience post-grad depression. It just depends on the person and what happened and just you know everything in life happens for a reason and everyone's lives are different but yeah with that said i hope you guys understood why i made this video um and hopefully at the end of this year i look back at this video and laugh as i'll be happy and stuff you know but with that said i don't think i have anything else left to say and let me know down below in the comments if you guys like me with glasses or no glasses but yeah i think that's all i have for you guys today so subscribe sharing your boys out